Hello everyone, this is Mike Check 95 with another Mike Check Productions Mike Check Movie Ratings. Um, yeah. I owe you guys a definite apology. Um, this ranking video was supposed to come out probably about two years ago. Maybe about a year and a half to a year and three quarters. Because I was going to rank these movies after we got the original six done. And then we were supposed to watch the seventh one and add that to the rankings right after. But then the seventh film didn't get recorded until like March. And now here we are in November with the ranking of the Resident Evil movies. Now I know that again this is way overdue, way late. Again I apologize for that. I completely forgot that I never ever did the ranking for these movies so we're going to start with the number one worst film of the franchise and this is going to be an average score of me orphan joker and krieger margins score added together for an average so coming in at number seven for the worst Resident Evil film in this franchise is Resident Evil Retribution. It goes no say as to why this film is the worst. Both times that I particularly watched this film, I completely mentally shut down at the same exact time, which was the introduction of the Nazi zombies. Them trying to replicate the Call of Duty zombies bullshit. And just the whole concept of this movie just really made no sense when it comes to trying to tell a cohesive story and again when we were trying to review these movies we were trying to review the movies as the movie franchise itself ignore any logic when it comes to the video games and try to go from there and make, make a cohesive story out of all of them this was the one that threw everything off the rails and just destroyed the first retcon that they did back in Afterlife and it just it's a film that you definitely need to make a drink or two or three to get through if you're really trying to enjoy this movie as a Resident Evil film but if you're trying to watch this film just for shits and giggles and wanting to watch a bad movie for some laughs this is definitely the kind of film for you but it's not gonna be the same laughs and joy that I say you would get from Jason X. So number seven goes to Resident Evil Retribution. Number six, this next film kind of has the same effects as Retribution, but it kind of, I loosely say this, it kind of fixes some of the mistakes in Retribution, but it's like they're trying to cover um, the wounds with duct tape and then ripping them off after they have completely healed. That movie is Resident Evil The Final Chapter. Again, like, this was also another film that was really hard for the three of us to watch and it was just completely bonkers as Retribution. It had a more, I guess you can say, cohesive story when it comes to the film franchise in itself but it was uh, retconning everything that happened in Retribution and retconning everything that they tried to originally retcon in Afterlife. So logic just went completely out the window in this film. Everything that was developed over time as in the story itself was completely forgotten and they tried to retell the whole story in their final film of this franchise before they had the, I guess you can say the reboot come out, but it was just, it wasn't fucking horrible, I wanted to rip my eyeballs out, it was pretty damn close to it, but it's not, not, not an enjoyable watch. So number six, Resident Evil, the final chapter. Number five, and this one is slightly disappointing for me for its position, because this film for me, I feel like got torn to shreds when we reviewed it. Also, the review itself was kind of hard to record because I couldn't get really my two cents in here and there when it came to me trying to defend this film for nostalgic reasons because I remember 
Um, I probably did say it in the review, but I remember as a kid hiding behind my uh, grandpa's recliner watching this film. And that film is Resident Evil Apocalypse. Now, I like this film for my own personal reasons. Nostalgic purposes, and it is a pretty decent continuation from the first film. Watching it again now and kind of thinking about as a whole for the whole story, it does kind of throw some logic out the window and kind of like undoes a lot of things the first film try to lay down. But I personally think this one should have been ranked higher, but based off the average rating between the three of us, it's landing right here based off of their scores and their enjoyment. And they didn't like this film as much as I did. But number five goes to Resident Evil Apocalypse. Now, edging out Resident Evil Apocalypse and number four, which completely shocks me because this one isn't bad. It's not good. It's just flat out boring. So number four goes to Resident Evil Afterlife. As Krieger said, this feels like a complete hour and a half to two hour side mission. And it's just her being told to go here, go there, go everywhere, figure out this and that and yada yada. This is where this is where the first retcon happens. And it undoes everything that happened in the first three films, and I kind of feel like that. It was a horrible follow-up when it comes to uh, Resident Evil Extinction, which we'll be talking about that film later on. But Resident Evil Afterlife, again, there's really not much to really say about it other than it's just kind of boring. And for me, like, it kind of... It doesn't really sit in the middle, but it gets really close to sitting in the middle for me because I just, I don't know where, what to make of this film because right after this film is Retribution and we know what happens there. So number four, Resident Evil Afterlife. Number three is the original Resident Evil, the film that started it all. Um, this is the film, of course, that laid out the groundwork for the very, uh, the entire original six series. And it's not bad. It's slightly enjoyable. It has a lot of issues and it's very outdated when it comes to some of the acting and the CGI, but it's for me it's a good uh, opener when it comes to the franchise when you're trying to look at it as a movie franchise. If you try to throw video game logic in there, you can just completely forget about it and not watch any more Resident Evil films pretty much after this. But as a movie itself, it keeps it in a it, it pretty much keeps it in one area which is the underground base some illogical things here and there it tells a decent story for the most part when it comes to unraveling as it goes on and of course it's the first one and quite frankly it's not really much of a shocker that it's not in the quote unquote number 1 spot because this is kind of a franchise that you can view kind of like the Friday the 13th franchise. Like, you can't really rank the number one film to be the original because there's so much more that happens in the sequels that are a lot better. So, for me, this is the one that sits in the middle. It is not boring. It's not good. It's, well, it's decent, but it's not bad. So, number three, the original Resident Evil. Number two, uh, we get to top off the original six series with Resident Evil Extinction. When it comes to over overall viewing, the three of us had probably the most fun watching this one. In my opinion, I said that out of all the films that we've had, um, it felt like that they put the most effort into this film, which I still don't know what happened to the effort that they put into this film when it comes to the ones right after it. This, I feel like that this was their peak. This was the film that was like, okay, this is our very best one. What do we do from there? Follow the logic of Fast and Furious. <laughs> but as a uh, six film series, it's very strange for me to say that the best film is the third film in the franchise. And again, it just felt like that they put more effort into it. They... Put more heart and soul into this one and it actually told a pretty decent story 
as a standalone. But I feel like you were trying to connect it to Apocalypse, there's still some loose ends that really don't make sense. But if I were to recommend one Resident Evil film in the original six for you to watch as a standalone, I would recommend this one. Because it's by far, I think, the best one out of all of them. If you ignore the cliffhanger ending and the weird cliffhanger beginning where it picks up where it last left off, it's decent. It's good. Surprisingly. So yeah, number two goes to Resident Evil Extinction. And number one, which is quite surprising to all of us, goes to Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. This is the one that actually follows the game logic a little bit better, if not far greatly better than the original uh, six film series. It has no connection to it whatsoever, of course, and like it presentation wise it looks a little rough on the edges because of the low budget that I was given to them and probably the amount of like uh, filming and editing time that they had but as an entertainment value of a film Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City is probably the best one when it comes to out of all seven of them so when I said that if you want to watch a film that's the best in the original six watch Resident Evil Extinction if you want to watch the best Resident Evil film, it's Welcome to Raccoon City. So there you have it. Number one of out of all the Resident Evil films, it's not any from the original six, it's the remake that they made several years later. So there is my ranking of Resident Evil. I will be sometime down the road in the future going to be watching the Resident Evil Netflix TV series, which I'm going to greatly regret doing. I know I am going to, but to complete my brain when it comes to content, I feel like I have the purpose to review this series to make it completely complete. And hopefully you enjoyed this quick audio ranking of the Resident Evil film series ranking. Again, I apologize that this film is this film ranking is way, 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 way late. It should have been done a long time ago. I know that there's probably at least some people out there that were wondering, hey, they've ranked and reviewed and did trivia for all these other films. How come they ever did it for Resident Evil? I think it's mainly because we were sick and tired of Resident Evil after we were done with the first six and we were just mentally done and did not want to finish the project. <laughs> but this is Mike Check 95 and hopefully you enjoyed this ranking video of us. Be sure to like, share, and, just, and subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends about us. Follow us on uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, join us on our Discord. The link is in the, the description down below. We also now have started a podcast on Spotify. If you would like to join that and listen to me, Krieger, and Lyson just bullshit about anything that comes to mind or just kind of talk about like wrestling news or UFC news. Kind of keep, kind of like keep along with the same stuff that we normally do on the channel but in like a two hour format instead of just like a, a weekly uh, content release uh, base but it's on Spotify the Mic Check Podcast and I will see you guys in the next video